بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سو ٹوڈے ان دس شارٹ ٹوٹوریل آئی ول ٹیچ یو ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ آ لیگ سیٹ اپ اے ریک فار اے لیگ اوکے سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹڈ سو وی کم ہیئر اینڈ کریٹ اے جوائنٹ اینڈ اٹس بیٹر وی گو ٹو دا لیفٹ وی پوٹ اینڈ وی موو اور فرسٹ جوائنٹ سم بٹ ہیئر اینڈ دین دس از اور knee you move it a little bit forward and then we have our ankle and then we have our ball and then we have our toe okay so we we'll come back and now we let's start putting them in the hierarchy okay and just quickly name them So this is for example our left side. So we call it B and underscore B and stands for bone, left underscore thigh. Okay, copy this one, paste this one and call it knee and then call this this one, sorry. copy this one paste and call it ankle and then call this one ball and this one toe and for this one i will call instead of p and i will call it be bone and because i don't want this to be skin to my final object at the moment i don't have any specific shape i'm just uh, just going through the rigging setup okay so now we just come here and create our controller scale it down okay, add table poly go to the vertex mode select all the vertex rotate it so somehow and we need switch on snapping and we need this one to be snap switch on axis snap and snap this one to the bone okay and now select the vertex and go to the left view port and try to align it somewhat here on the floor okay and uh, if i want this i want this to be a little bit higher so i uh, switch on my axis mode and make it move up little bit and this one move little bit pill backward okay come back to my perspective now this is ready to set up okay so now what we'll do is we come here and select our thigh and call it uh, okay before going proceeding we just need to create more some controller so we create a null and we call first this one clt underscore left clt stands for control and left underscore foot okay and this one we put inside this one we come here and switch on is uh, view call it cube and switch on x y so that we can see it visually and keep the size somewhat three okay and also i would recommend just to make select all of your bones and come to the object and choose size custom and make it like one i don't want to see too much th thick okay this is enough now i will select this one and snap this one to my ankle okay and then i will duplicate call it uh, clt underscore left underscore underscore ball lift and i will snap this to here and i will duplicate this one to wiggle and keep it on the same position and then i will come and click duplicate this one and call this one to lift okay and this one i will snap to my door 
okay so i have three nulls now one is ball lift which is actually on the ball bone the second one is toe wiggle which is again on the same place and then toe lift which is on the toe end okay so now let's start adding ik handle so we select our thigh bone and right click character tags add ik and then of course we will add here our end bone which is ankle because we want this to be and then we create add goal so once we click add goals you can see now this ik handle is added and now we can if we move it visually you cannot see because it's a null and we call it b and underscore no we call it underscore ik hand left underscore foot underscore or left underscore ik underscore foot okay so naming convention is very important to keep things clean and then what we will do is we come here and put it here somewhat okay now we start arranging first of all we select all of them and we'll move them in under left foot because we want this to be the main controller okay now what we'll do is we come our ankle and uh, right click character tags and a constraint and we add position psr constraint and we over here we'll add this ik handle okay and then what i will do now is i will make this ik foot okay the child of a ball lift so now we once select select our ball lift and i will come to my rotation mode see i can lift my ankle okay on my ball so my ball is a pivot point and i can lift my ankle okay and then i will come here and uh, select my add another i uh, constraint character tags constraint and same psr constraint and i will add uh, this toe wiggle okay and then once i select this one and i can see you can see now i can wiggle my toe come here i can lift my ball now what i will do i will select toe wiggle and ball lift and put them on the toe lift so now if i will come to my toe lift point and i can lift my toe as well okay let's shrink the size of our controller and uh, like this so now what we'll do is uh, now you can see our rig, rig is almost ready it's a very basic leg -like setup okay now if you have any object uh, mesh which is the shape of uh, this one you can attach to this one so now uh, to make it uh, to finish our rig actually we don't want animator every time oh we moved it accidentally so we need to come out okay and select our pivot point to here and now bring everything again now okay so pivot point should always be on this angle of this controller and uh, one more thing important thing select all of your objects and make them freeze transformation freeze all so now whenever you move this one here and you just press uh, psr0 it will come back to zero or you can come here and make it zero 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 okay and then from here now what we want to do and we want we do not want uh, animator to go and select each of them individually because we visually we don't want them to be seen here so we just dis hide our uh, our nulls now so what we want is we just want animated to select this controller made which is main controller and control through here so what we'll do is we come here uh, user data add user data okay and then we add here float slider and uh, and float slider and we will add degree of course and uh, let's keep it open for now and the first one we call it uh, ball lift add and then we call it remove this one just duplicate this one and we call it uh, toe wiggle 
and the last one to a left okay now we have this data so now we come here right click cinema 4d espresso just a very very basic espresso so we bring this one here and we bring all our three uh, data ball lift toe wiggle and toe lift and then what we need is first we need ball lift so we come here and check which one we need to lift the ball we need p40 so we bring this one here okay and then we need it to be moving in positive so maximum i think so we need only 66 50 55 might be maximum is fine okay so we come here and put it here and we need it this is ball lift okay so we come here now come to the ball lift so you can see now we can control it from here similar way we just come and toe lift is same we need this value so we click this one here click and drag and then we come to the toe lift bring our pitch value and connect to the toe lift similar way we take toe wiggle okay and toe wiggle we need it to be p value and uh, click and connect okay so now we come our cut to the user data and you can see now this is toe lift this is toe wiggle which is going in the wrong direction so actually we want it to be wiggling on both sides so what we'll do is we come to our user data manage user data one second let's finalize that we need uh, sorry toe wiggle we need to move it like 90 degree positive and 90 degree negative so we come to the 90 degree here uh, toe wiggle and we call it minimum minus 90 and maximum positive 90 okay so now you can see you can wiggle it similar way ball lift and toe similar way toe lift we need maximum 50 so yeah so we go to manage user data come back again ball lift we need maximum to be 55 and also toe lift to be 55 okay so now you can just click and drag okay so now animator just can directly select this object may move it and then he can move his uh, ball lift or he can wiggle his toe okay or he can lift it from the toe side this is a very quick setup to create uh, to rig any kind of a leg and now if you have a mesh on top of it you can just skin it and it is ready to animate